Hi, uh, this is James. I'm just uh, making a video about a, a updated spreadsheet I made based off of this Magic uh, Pulse Chain, Pulse Swap, Liquid Loans, uh, Magic Carpet Ride spreadsheet that uh, Magic Carpet Ride provided. And uh, recently did a follow-up video on how, how they're using this spreadsheet to calculate uh, uh, gains on... Uh, basically compounding compounding uh, loans on the liquid loans platform so here here is the original uh, spreadsheet and here's the actual spreadsheet uh, what they do is basically take your uh, investment they take a base price that uh, to start out at and then uh, they kind of make a 10% every 10% increase in value they uh, create a new loan or they take out more from the original loan uh, collateralized loan and yada 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 so I made this uh, kind of updated version and uh, so what I did was I took you can put in like your own your own uh, like say you have fifteen hundred dollars worth of uh, pulse that you got uh, on the pulse chain, and say you have you know say you have fifteen million units at fifteen hundred dollars, you take uh, an initial price. You can set that to whatever you want to be, um, and then uh, you take uh, a price every th say every three uh, percent price rises. You'll you'll do another loan. Uh, and then I have actually multiples, multiple uh, low, uh, values to try that at to see what how it, how it uh, changes uh, the uh, in changes. And then uh, you got so what I added, I added a few things here. Uh, basically, I added a uh, liquidation, uh, so collateralization instead of going by the uh, this collateralization ratio, I figured it'd be easier for people to understand like how much of a drop you want to kind of price in, so that if it drops more than this percentage, so 88%, then at that point you could get liquidated. So if you wanted to be super safe, you could put like 95%, and then the collateralization ratio actually is to only uh, 2345 percent and uh, this side of things is kind of what's calculated this side is where you put the data that you want to put in there so uh, it automatically I'm not sure if this is exactly right because I, I didn't really double check it but it's pretty close um, so at, at 88 percent is basically what uh, basically what uh, Martin Magic Carper I used to kind of be a safe, have a safe strategy, and that's pretty good. I think at eight percent, you can be super safe and do like ninety-five percent. And uh, if you know, if if the price of pulse goes from like say a penny to point zero point five penny or uh, point zero five of a penny, then you would get liquidated at 110 percent, which is this minimum ratio here. Uh, so it takes this, takes this, calculates the collateralization ratio, um, and it, it, cal it adds a tenth of a percent to this value to create this collateralization ratio uh, in order to create this spreadsheet. And then I put I put in the the ability to actually change the number of people are, you know, they are using the uh, thousand times people buying the loan to kind of calculate these few extra columns to kind of add on if more than one person does it so I just added this as a variable you can change and then um, uh, they weren't calculating like like the price say when you buy use this loan to buy pulse swap uh, sorry about the whistling uh, when you uh, when you buy your the price will go up depending on how much you buy so I just kind of uh, created just kind of a quick you know price impact 
So it, instead of buying at this price, um, it'll times it by, it'll add an extra 50.5% uh, to it. So you get let you get a little bit less of the, uh, a little bit, a little bit less here, just to kind of add, you know, add to the, make it a little more accurate. Uh, if, if it is accurate and then, uh, I don't know, I just added on a few extra columns. Um, I just put, uh, I just put like 95% of, or 5% of the estimated total supply, which is like 150 trillion, which is in this uh, equation here. So that's, that ends up being about seven and a half trillion. So then it calculates um, this percentage, like basically if a thousand people had um, $1,500 to start, they would, be at 0.2% of the total circulating supply. Then over time it would go up, obviously. So it does not a lot of, you know, it gets you a little bit extra even at, so I was just kind of curious how that would affect like circulating supply. Okay, so, <clears throat> so what it does here, because uh, pulse or liquid loans needs uh, the initial, the total loan to be at a minimum of 2,000 I put that in here as a variable. Um, you could change it, but that's what it is. So you, um, it's not calculated value, so you can change that if you want. But it has to be at least 2,000. So that's how it kind of starts out the the spreadsheet. So it takes uh, takes the pulse, initial pulse price, just estimated, and that's here at the first row. And then basically you have, you have to wait until, uh, you know, According to this, at $1,500, your investment at $15,000, you have to have to wait till a 0.3 penny, 3.31 cent uh, price of pulse in order to start doing the loans. So already you're at an 18.4 uh, x ROI. Uh, so it starts kind of, it's it lets you know at what point you can start kind of doing this uh, working on this spreadsheet or creating the loans on liquid loans uh, so it start it figures out the first price and then uh, what you know what your actual value of, of your pulse is and then uh, it takes this three percent and if you go to this loan, you have 2,000, 2,000, that's all the same. Um, and then what, it, you know, instead of, so on the, the original spreadsheet, uh, and the total loan, if you actually took out 2,100 at 21,000, it wouldn't be this, you know, it wouldn't be that, it wouldn't be 100,000 you percent know, collateral after you take out this loan. So I just kind of calculate it. I don't know if that makes sense, but what it does is make sure that every time you take out money, your collateralization is always at this exact level. Uh, and it, you know, it just kind of, I put this column here to, to verify that it does stay at the exact level that you tell it to. So I added that. So sorry about that. Um, so so it calculates that, and then um, it minuses the fees. So it takes this ten dollars worth of pulse out of your twenty, your fifteen thousand, whatever. So it adds it adds these two together, and then it takes out the fee, and this is what you end up with. So. So I added a few extra columns. So I added, um, at the end of this, I added another chart spreadsheet to, to, to add to the, to create a, uh, these three extra columns for a different, a different uh, percentage 
at what point the, uh, the percentage of gain and value that you t to take out another loan uh, in order to create these ex in order to create these three columns to kind of compare between the different percentages and then uh, I added this our, our ROI thing here so basically this is your without doing any loans this is the first value is your uh, your gain and then the second one is right now this this one is at the three the first the first percentage so it's uh, the gain is is like 32 X is without a loan and then 34 X is the with the loan 3% loan and then I you know I gave you a the actual ROI uh, versus not doing anything with it you know keep keeping it liquid versus uh, putting it into liquid loans and taking out loans for the strategy so you're getting uh, over time your uh, ROI versus just holding uh, is given here in this, this last value <clears throat> and then uh, here in this 8% uh, one the second uh, percentage of loan you uh, it gives you uh, the X the uh, times at what point so instead of waiting till 18.4 X of the, the original price you have to wait or say say we start here 18.9 instead of waiting uh, waiting till 18.9 you have to wait till 19.9 X and then so at you know three versus eight you have to wait a little longer for the price to go up in order to take another loan for the strategy so over time you can see how um, you have to wait longer for the, the actual price to increase in order to take out another loan to go by the strategy so it gives you a better idea of how long you have to wait before you can take another loan according to the strategy so like say so at three percent at 100x uh, of the price you would be at 292 so if you did 8% at 100x here which is right here uh, you'd have be at 285,000 so that's a difference of uh, I mean according to this the more the less you less you wait for the if you do have a lower percentage uh, you're gonna make more over time because you're compounding it faster um, but if you wait if you go up higher then your pendant percentage then you have to wait longer for the for the price of pulse to increase before you can do another loan so I mean the, so smaller is better but you can kind of change the values to figure that out uh, so then you can also change obviously you can change this uh, liquidation level so if you do it maybe maybe you want to be a little more risk here and put in 75 percent you can actually you know start you can start faster uh, with just a 4x of price from the you know from your beginning in order to take out that two thousand dollars and then you can, you know, as you can see, you can, you don't have to wait as many X's of the price of pulse to increase in order to take out another loan. So basically, you're compounding even faster, but you're, you know, obviously you're riskier at 75%, you know, which is a 542% collateralization rate. While well, the minimum is 110, so you kind of, you're kind of getting closer and closer to that 110%. Oh. What else did I do? So that's about it. I just added some extra stuff to it to kind of show you the idea of the strategy a little bit better. Give you like a, a more world kind of realistic. You know, maybe the you know people with with smaller bags can you know actually figure out instead of needing twenty thousand, you only need you know this. You just have to wait for the price to go up. And this will tell you exactly when 
at what point, at what price you have to wait to, you know, and then you can, you know, if you, if we end up starting at like, you know, uh, starting a little lower, you know, then you just have to wait a little longer, or if we start higher, you know, you can change all these values and uh, get a different result. Um, so obviously, at the eight percent level, you know, you know, you can be, you know, if you go to like the thousand x, let's see here, let's go to the bottom here. If you go to if you go to a three percent level at 681x you're going to be at 4.2 million you know with whatever is in here and then if you go to 681 on on the eight percent which is approximately between these two you know even at 711 you're not beating your three percent uh, 42 711 42 4.2 million and it's uh get the weight longer in order to get to that same 4.2 to get to uh 711x of the price of pulse or 8.5 cents uh meanwhile here you only have to go to 8.1 cents so you can see how a difference three three to eight percent can make a huge uh not a huge change but you know you know almost a uh, price of a house basically <laughs> so yeah uh, oh. so yeah that's about it uh, thank you